Throughout the history of cinematography, three major film types have emerged. The first is a narrative, or the telling of a story. The second is a documentary, a recording of reality for educational or analysis purposes. The last type of movies is experimental, which are difficult to define but generally push the boundaries of people's expectations for movies. Movie genres, however, are not a major film type. They are subcategories of narrative films, differentiated by the stories they tell and how they tell them. The commonly recognized genres include horror, science fiction, musical, gangster, and the western. Within these genres lay typical themes, settings, character types, and story formulas. AMC's filmsite.org mentions that genres allow easy evaluations and meaningful comparisons to other movies like it. Arthur Penn is an American director and producer of many critically acclaimed films, such as the 1966 drama The Chase, the 1967 biographical crime film Bonnie and Clyde, and the 1970 western Little Big Man. Little Big Man became an iconic Western through its unique adaptation of the genre. Roger Ebert, an American film critic, writes, Little Big Man touches all the bases of the Western myth. He was brought West as a settler, raised as a Cheyenne, tried his hand at gunfighting and medicine shows, scouted for the cavalry, experimented with the hermit life, was married twice, survived Custer's last stand, and sat at the foot of an old man named Old Lodge Skins, who instructed him in the Cheyenne view of creation. But Penn steered from the typical narrative film by putting the climax in the middle of the movie, with Custer's massacre of the Indian village, rather than at the end. Little Big Man is also different from the typical Western in that it took a different stance on civilization versus wilderness, or Cowboys versus Indians. In westerns such as John Wayne's 1956 The Searchers, the main protagonist vows to kill the Indians who captured and murdered his family, and is driven by his racism and desire for revenge. Dustin Hoffman in Little Big Man was in a similar scenario, but instead of vowing future revenge or feeling negatively towards the Indians that killed his parents like other westerns, he becomes a part of their village, adapts their customs and traditions, and looks up to the village chief, Old Lodge Skin. And for the first quarter of the movie, the audience hears Old Lodge Skin telling Hoffman about how the Indians are the civilized ones, or real human beings, and the whites are animals, minus Hoffman. Penn's Little Big Man was a great adaptation and derivative from the typical Western, and helps show that sometimes breaking the genre's conventions can make for a better movie in the end.